Hi, I'm Patty Granville. I'd like to welcome you today to Arts in Action. We're in the lobby of the Art Center, and joining me here is Chad Wilkinson, who Hi. is the organizer and creator of this wonderful art show, the GCAC, that's the Garland Cultural Arts Commission, in cooperation and partnership with the GISD. And these are all senior entries. Mm -hmm. And Chad, I'm going to let you talk about the various categories. We're standing in front of color drawing. So tell us what that entails. Well, basically, color drawing, uh, Patty, entails uh, pretty much anything that's done with uh, something that has color. And that would be something like pen and ink, uh, colored pen and ink. It would be something like pastel. It would be something like um, colored pencils. Uh, and you're going to see a, a lot of variety in, in this category. There's some amazing stuff in uh, in this category as well as as well as the other categories. And we'll move uh, over here. There's oil pastel. A... This is going to be like oil pastel right in here. This is going to be um, uh, your regular pastel. Um, we have um, colored pencil. Uh, another oil pastel here. Huge variety of different kinds of things uh, that uh, the kids have worked very very hard on this year. And this is from all the high schools Actually, in Actually, and the this GISD. is from all the high schools in GISD. Not only that, it's also from every year that they've, that they've taken art. We pick the three best pieces that they have um, done in their entire high school career. And now so. we're going to move over to black and white drawing. And uh, these are always phenomenal. And the artists, I'm telling you, they are so professional. Most of these kids could go out and I think get jobs right now as professional artists. I'm just always so impressed. This is the 27th year we've been doing this, and it's exciting. It is exciting. It's exciting <laughs> it's to see the level of ability that these kids can produce. Uh, a lot of this artwork sometimes takes between two and three, sometimes four weeks to produce. Um, this is the black and white section, of course, and this is going to entail anything that that uh, is mostly done with black and white. Um, now, Chris, you're going to see some pencil, you're going to see um, carbon pencil, you're going to see charcoal in this section. Uh, a lot of really amazing stuff. And you're at Rowlett High School, the art teacher instructor there, but do you all use the same um, concept of something that you want them to do within the year or does each teacher have their own ideas? Each or? teacher certainly has their own ideas, but I think a lot of it too is that um, uh, different teachers teach different ways uh, and they also there's uh, an overall guidelines that we have to use uh, called the text and uh, as long as we kind of adhere to that uh, the, the variety is really what we want and I wouldn't want to be teaching the same thing that somebody else is teaching anyways even in my school as well uh, just because variety is the, the spice of spice life. Spice of life. <laughs> and it's the key to success. And there's a few more over this way Dan. We'll walk this way and we have some um let me fix this this is all is it mostly pin now some of these look like metal just a second uh let's see yeah this one uh is done actually with metal and that's what's called scratch board so they literally uh scratch through an india ink surface into the uh the aluminum surface that you see uh there that's uh the the bright spots well come you know, around this one to this other side. And we too. have some uh, some with a little bit of color, but the, and some of the some of the ones like this one, this one is actually done uh, with black and white, but it's on color paper. So we just keep it in this section. A lot of really talented kids. I mean, really, it's just amazing the amount of talent that these kids have. Come around. This is a very large category. It looks like one of the largest of them all. I think the black and white. Drawing. Yeah, the black and white category more. is certainly the largest, just because that's the first media that. Um, that kids really kind of pick up on. Uh, and you can see over here there's some more. This um, one you told me there's a story behind the sailor. Why don't you tell that real Well, this briefly. is actually, uh, it's a real picture of an individual that, um, that actually wrote this letter. This is a love letter uh, from him being in the war and uh, sending it to his girlfriend, now wife, 
Um, I believe that they are in their 80s, uh, that, that so couple there now. So it was World War II. Yes, uh -huh. it was World War II. So it's kind of uh, cool to see, you know, something like that being produced by one of the students. Who was uh, related or knew that. Yeah, and actually it's uh, the uh, student that did that, um, that's her boyfriend's um, granddad. <laughs> So I think that's pretty awesome. And you know what? There's stories behind a lot of these that I don't know. That's just one that I happen to know. So. Well, let's start. We've got sculpture, too, if we can get uh, some pictures of some of this. A lot of really cool uh, different um, medias in, in the sculpture section. So this is basically sculpture with, you can see cardboard. You can see um, sculpture in, uh, this is actually a um, foam core um, that they're sculpting it out of. This is a clay one with addition onto it. A lot of variety uh, in this section, which we all, which we do some, at some shows we spread them out uh, and uh, they're all, they're in different categories, but in this one, we kind of lumped it all and together. And one of the things, if we can just walk right back over here for a minute, we have the Raku, which you said is unique to yes. Garland, is that right? Well, we are one of the very few districts that does uh, a Raku glaze, which is a special, uh, we have to have a special kiln and special permission from the fire marshal as well to do this uh, with our school. And we only do it twice a year. Um, and I think it's just a spectacular, um, way of, of, of doing things because you get uh, interesting results and I think it's also uh, kind of uh, amazing that they actually let us do that and that kind of shows how much trust that they have in us art teachers to be able to uh, you know to give that over to us and let us do that. And I think now too we want to walk <laughs> over and see all the ceramics. We have a large display of ceramics. Yes. And now we're in the ceramics area, which is a large area too, one of the largest, I, other than the black and white drawing, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And this category, is, you're gonna find basically um, vessel or people that have built vessels with a variety of different techniques. But a vessel is really, what it is, is something like this giraffe here. If I could take this off, this would be an opening. I could take that off and then there would be an opening on the top of this, a vessel here as well. So amazing stuff. I mean, yes. really just um, to see kids do this kind of work, I mean, in high school is phenomenal. I mean, it really is. It, and I wish we had some of the other teachers, and we may yeah. have them here a little bit later as we sure. do the award. So we'll, we'll plan on that and in interviewing some. Mm -hmm. Because I know there's some of the teachers that really, this is their predominant area that they like to focus mm -hmm. on, is the ceramics and the sculpture. Yeah. And this is the painting category. Let's talk about this one, Chad. I know this is one of your okay. specialties. Uh, this is gonna be any type of media like watercolor or acrylic paint, um, any uh, kind of media that's, that would be like uh, oil, oil paint or something like that as well. A lot of really amazing stuff back here too. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but uh, this is really one of, the, one of the nicest shows that we've had here in a very, very long time because we do have a lot of quality and a lot of stuff to look at. <laughs> it's one of the biggest I remember in a long yeah. time. And of so course the public to... is invited to come out. It's here uh, every day, Monday through Friday. We're open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And anytime there's a show going on, a performance, you're welcome to come and tour the artwork. Let's move on over here just a little bit. Look at a few more of the paintings. There's You're going to see a, just a ton of variety here in different medias and different styles. Some realistic, some not so realistic. But all of them have a lot of hard work put into them. Now, are they using mostly, is it acrylic or oil? Or? It just varies. A lot of this is watercolor, just when I'm, since I'm looking at this. But something like this, this is acrylic, this is acrylic, um, and this is going to be acrylic as well. Um, this one right here would be watercolor. This one's watercolor. Some of them are even using watercolor mixed with pen and ink and uh, other kinds of medias as well too. And we Some of them, like this one, over here. they've actually included um, actual um, fabric integrated in with the paint as well too. So there's a lot of different variety in terms of what kids are producing all throughout this. Here's another one that has a three-dimensional um, three uh, parts to it as well too. And that's done with uh, acrylic paint. Most of the time we use acrylic paint or watercolor and not oil because 
takes a very long time for oil to dry. And I think next we're going to go over to printmaking and photography and multimedia. Sounds good. Now, Chad, we're in multimedia. Let's talk about that. Well, multimedia is exactly what it states. You're going to have multimedia or a uh, mixture of different kinds of media. Uh, this also includes collage, and you're going to find uh, collage elements as well. This is all done with cut paper. And then this is going to be uh, multimedia, meaning cut paper as well as ink. You're going to find other things in this category as well, too, that are kind of beyond description, as you can <laughs> see with that one. Um, you know, uh, bringing in branches and <laughs> yeah, bringing in CDs and all sorts of stuff. Here's a good example of multimedia where they're including different kinds of media together to create. There's colored pencil in there, or uh, and there's ink, and it looks like maybe slightly a slight bit of pencil, watercolor, a bunch of different medias in there. And that's what multimedia is. Kids love multimedia because they get to get their they get to get their hands dirty. They can put almost anything in they there. They can put pretty much anything in it. And then you want to swing so, around to, we can get a few more multimedia on this side. Yeah, a few more on that side. We'll just walk around here. This is fun. I'm so glad we did this today. Sure. <laughs> I want to thank Dan Bach with the City of Garland, too, for being so creative in helping us do all of yes, these productions. Yes, that's amazing. Arts in Action is fun. Now we're going it over is. to computer art and printmaking. Yeah, and this is kind of a, a, a big mix of different uh, categories. Um, you're going to find, um, actually, this is going to be mixed media. So this is all still part of the previous one. The, the, uh, the printmaking is going to be on this side. So this right here is going to be your printmaking. And, um, and what is printmaking exactly? Printmaking is basically, I mean, a, a variety of different things. But like this, this is an etching that somebody did. So they literally carved this out of... Depending, I don't, I don't know 100%, but I'm guessing that they carved it out of plastic with a, a utensil, a sharp instrument, and then they, ran, they, they laid ink on top of that, and then they ran it through a press on hmm. top of the paper. And then, so they can create different, different kinds of, um, of techniques with that. Uh, and this is a really nice one, too, as well, that they even added a little bit of color in there as well, too. And sometimes they like to double mat these where they, where they have two different kinds of uh, cutouts so that they can, so that the judge can see, um, you know, how well that they're printing out and, uh, and, sometimes and change like, it up a This bit. looks like a multimedia, but that's really printmaking. And how this do you is differentiate? Actually, well, because, it, you know, I mean, you could, it's, that's kind of either here or there. You could put it in either category. Okay. But I like this one because they literally, they actually included the stamp in the whole process. So they included what they used to make the artwork in the artwork which I think is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, part of this category as well is computer art, uh, digital art, and or just plain photography. So you're going to see a lot of interesting things here too. With the digital art, and they're, they're using um, Photoshop or <coughs> other programs like Corel Draw, depending on, you know, on the teacher. They're doing some cutouts there. They're doing um, straight up photography as well. But it's more of like, something that's kind of an artsy type of a picture as well too. Photography has a whole new concept now Surely with all the photoshopping and yeah. adding and erasing and mm -hmm. <laughs> just magnificent. And then you know how they're adding the different layers, the different levels here, cutting out the different levels on this one as well too. And they're leading the eye around the picture. I mean that's just a, a really nice, um, you know, an interesting way of doing things. Well, Chad, I want to thank you for joining us today, and well, we will continue for me. on. I, mean, I love doing this. I, I you know, it it, uh, it shows how creative the um, the students are, and uh, and and helps them, you know, helps them get their artwork out there so the public can see it, and that's really what it's about. And we'll know who the winners are the next part of our program, and we'll be back with all of that. We're back at the Day of the Art Show, and this is our Best of Show by Cooper Holstein. And not only that, he's also first place in the multimedia category. And we want to thank you for your entries. They're amazing. Tell me a little thank bit you. about your artwork. Basically, just my art piece. It, I wanted to just do something that's really unique and just something that people don't really see every 
day, you know, just... I like to capture portraits of people and mix it in my own kind of way with nature or just kind of multi just collaging the pictures and everything, so. And do you have a title for this one? This is Spittin' Bees. I kind of think it speaks for itself. <laughs> and you're a senior at Rowlett High School. Do you have plans to be a professional artist? Yes, ma'am. I want to go to college first and I want to attend UN, uh, University of North Texas in Denton and become a graphic designer, hopefully one day. Well, congratulations, Cooper. Excellent job. This is a GISD's 27th art show with the Garland Cultural Arts Commission, and we have more coming up. We're here with Mickey Emmons, who has been with uh, the district since we started this show 27 years ago. You're with South Garland, and yes. you're, this has always been your forte, is the ceramic area, and you yes, always have so many winners. Tell us about the new, we added a new category this year, but a little bit about ceramics. Well, uh, it's a 3D media, which a lot of districts don't put a lot of emphasis on, but we have uh, semester courses in 3D, and um, we have very supportive um, sponsors that have helped us get equipment to do Raku and a lot of experimental pottery, which is unusual for a high school level. Well, this is the outstanding feature of the Garland GISD and one of the reasons we love having this show. And Mickey, for 27 years, thank you for your support and bringing all your amazing students here. You're welcome. It's been fun. We're here at the Arts Center and we have the Garland Cultural Arts Commission members are with us today and let's get your thoughts on the show. Well, Patty, I was just very impressed as I walked around looking at all the different pieces, how these students are so amazing and you know I kept wanting to think how did they come up with that idea and brought it to fruition so I am very impressed we've got a lot of amazing students here that are going to have great futures in art and we'd like to know what inspires them yes, all too I yeah. mean and, and Harlan what are your thoughts my thought is that I come here for several years now 10 years maybe doing this and the art shows that I'm impressed every year more so Every year they, is even it's like better. They keep getting better and they better. They get better and better <laughs> every year. Yeah, the so talent I, just grows, yeah. I, I'm not a, much of an artist, but I, I enjoy looking at this, and I just can't believe how good it is for, for high school kids. Yes. It's unbelievable. Yes. And I know the Arts Commission is very supportive of this program and wants to continue to encourage the development of the visual artists. And Joanne, your thoughts? Oh, I'm just, uh, uh, first of all, congratulations to all the winners and to all the students who submitted arts to this, to this showing. And I'm, I'm with them every year. I'm so amazed at what the talent is in, in our city, in Garland, Texas, that we can produce some of these amazing talent. And, of course, a lot of the credit goes to our teachers. So I give credit to them. Absolutely. And I'm not sure I introduced all of you. Of course, Deanne Driver is our chairman, Harlan Segrin and Joanne Trailer. Thank you all for being here today. It's been a great show, and we're going to wrap it up with Chad in just a few minutes. And our reception is just about over for our 27th annual GISD Garland Cultural Arts Commission show. And Chad Wilkinson, who is our lead art director with the GISD, who organized this show. Any final thoughts? And you're joined here with Lynn Wilkinson, who is also a teacher at Rowlett. And that's a, a great partnership. You all have some amazing winners well, here today, yeah, we, too. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Uh, my final thoughts are that I appreciate... <laughs> <laughs> you putting this you know hosting this and helping us out with this and you know being you know uh, an amazing person to you know to be around and um, and all that well so thank you so we much that. but I know that the Arts Commission for 27 the years they have really wanted to put money as much money as they can and mm -hmm. each year this is twenty five hundred dollars is mm -hmm. what the amount of money and each year gets to be a little bit more and Lynn well, thank you so much. The children appreciate it so much. Uh, the scholarships, you know, that's going to help them buy textbooks or, you know, uh, whatever they're going to use it for for college. So it's it's great. It's so great. And those art supplies are expensive too, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. And they well, learn that real quick when they get to college. Thank you all. And we'll look forward to doing this again next year. And we'll see all of you next time on Arts in Action.